Robert Lawson was an American author and illustrator of children's books. He wrote and illustrated 17 books. He was also the first to receive both the Caldecott Medal Award and the Newbery Medal Award. Throughout his career, he illustrated 42 books for other authors. He was born October the 4th of 1892 in New York City. Most of his early life was spent in Montclair, New Jersey. Lawson studied art for three years at the New York School of Fine and Applied Art. Today, the school is called the Parsons School of Design. Lawson began his career in the arts as an illustrator in 1914. He illustrated for magazines such as the Harper's Weekly, the Ladies' Home Journal, Everybody's Magazine, the Century Illustrated Monthly Magazine, and Vogue. In 1919, Robert Lawson published his magazine illustration in the Century Magazine. From this point forward, Lawson established to use pen and ink in most of his illustration as his medium. After his education, he served in World War I between 1914 through 1918. In the military, he was a member of the American Camouflage Corps in the United States Army. Members included painters, sculptors, designers, carpenters, and many other creative professions. Lawson participated in disguising objects and creating fake scenarios to trick the opponents. Examples of their work included decoying logs and creating scenarios so that snipers could hide. After the war, he married fellow artist and illustrator Mary Abrams in 1922. During the 1930s and throughout the early 1950s, he began to illustrate books for other authors and began to write and illustrate books of his own. The Story of Ferdinand, written by Monroe Leaf and illustrated by Robert Lawson, in 1936 was one of his best work as an illustrator. The book later became a Walt Disney short video. Lawson gained recognition with his work as an illustrator in Mr. Popper's Penguins written by Richard and Florence Atwater in 1938. The book was later made into a movie by 20th Century Fox co-starring Jim Carrey. They Were Strong and Good was his first written and illustrated children's book. His first award-winning picture book won the Caldecott Medal Award in 1940. They Were Strong and Good is a non-fiction book which tells the story of Lawson's family. The story describes where his grandparents came from and how they met. It also tells what they did for a living and where they lived. As Lawson states in the book, it is a story of the parents and grandparents of most of us who call ourselves Americans. The original 1940 text has been revised to alter two controversial sections in the book. One that refers to American Indians as tame and the other Color Boy is replaced with Negro Slave. Robert Lawson's next award-winning book is Rabbit Hill. Its genre is classified as a fictional children's novel. The book won the Newbery Medal Award in 1945. The story is about animals that are suffering due to an abandoned house. The animals are wondering whether the new folks coming in are friendly gardeners who will share their crops with them. Printings of the book Rabbit Hill, beginning in the 1970s and continuing today, have removed the character Sulfronia, the new occupant's cook. This was done because she was originally depicted as an African-American stereotype. One of Lawson's inventive themes 
was the idea of a person's life seen through the eyes of a companion animal, an approach that he first used in his book, Ben and Me. In this fictional historical story, Amos the Mouse befriended Ben Franklin and helped him invent bifocals and discover electricity. The book, Ben and Me, earned a Lewis Carroll Shelf Award in 1961. Ben and Me became one of Walt Disney's mini classics. Although both book and film dealt with the relationship between a mouse and Benjamin Franklin, the book, with illustrations by Lawson, focused more on actual historical events and characters. In his historical fiction story, Mr. Revere and I, Lawson wrote about the life of the Revere family and the activities of the Sons of Liberty. The story is told from the point of view of Paul Revere's horse. In I Discover Columbus, Lawson uses the parrot Aurelio to tell the historical events of Columbus' trip to America. In Captain Kidd's Cat, McDormand the cat sails aboard the adventure with the infamous pirate and his crew, presenting an inside view of life on the high seas along with surprising revelations about his notorious master. In 1940, Just for Fun was published. The book is a collection of stories and verses. The Tough Winter is a fictional tale that focuses on a rabbit's family who is placed on the spot when the folks who own the land move for the winter, the new caretakers are mean, and the characters, Uncle Analdus, Georgie, Fiwi the Skunk, and Willie the Field Mouse, survive fire, flood, and famine. The Fabulous Flight is another book written and illustrated by Lawson in 1949. The Great Wheel is Robert Lawson's final children's book published in 1957, the year of his death. The Great Wheel received the Newbery Honor Award one year after Lawson's death in 1958. Lawson died in 1957 at his home in Westport, Connecticut, in a house that he referred to as Rabbit Hill. He was 64. He is buried in Mountain Grove Cemetery in Bridgeport, Connecticut. The Robert Lawson Children's Research Collections are in the University of Minnesota. The collection contains production materials for 16 titles published between 1932 and 1956. It includes transcripts, illustrations, accounts of how some stories came to be written, a biographical sketch written by Lawson, and some miscellaneous art. The town of Westport, Connecticut Hells a festival every year for Robert Lawson. Although much of Lawson's work is described as children's literature, he did not necessarily view it this way. In describing his work, he stated, I have never, as far as I can remember, given one moment's thought as to whether any drawing that I was doing was for adults or children. I have never changed one conception or line or detail to suit the supposed age of the readers.